Hello everyone, I'm Eric from Etiquette and in this video I want to show you how to use breakout rooms in Zoom. What is a breakout room? Basically when you're teaching online through Zoom you can put the participants in different groups and you can control them. This is fantastic for teaching because it allows you to take students and put them in groups to discuss things, to do projects together. And um, I think the, the problem we have with online teaching is if you are teaching a large group of students, they don't have a lot of speaking time. So you want to give your students enough time to interact with each other and then give feedback later on. So Zoom is fantastic for this. Today I'm quickly going to show you how to put the settings on, how to use breakout rooms and give you some ideas. So let's start off. Um, let me quickly turn to the computer. So first you go to Zoom US. So easy to go into. I'm showing you exactly from the start how to do this. Oh, sorry, I don't want to start a meeting. Let's go back. Okay, I'm going to go to my account. So if you sign in, it's very simple. You can put a photo there of yourself. Then you go to settings because at first this won't be there. So you go to settings and in settings you can click on advanced or you can just go down in advanced. At first this will be switched off. So what you should do is you should switch it on and then you can start. So you've got that selected. Uh, later I'll show you some of the other um, options with settings that you can do but this is just for breakout rules. Then we start the meeting with video on. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Open Zoom. You can see it's opening right there. Yeah breakout rooms are fantastic because it basically simulates a classroom environment. Then I'm going to quickly invite someone. As you know, you copy the URL and you can post it anyway. You can use LMS to send the link for students to click on social media, SNS. You can use email. But uh, I think if you're teaching university students, LMS is probably the easiest because it's a link. You can share it anywhere. I just invited um, Professor Ben to help me with this. There we go. Okay, so as you can see while we're waiting for him to come on. Hi, Ben. Hello. Okay, so before I show this, why do you think breakout rooms are a great thing to use when online teaching? Well, I think one of the things that you mentioned in your intro was the idea of simulating a classroom and an actual in actual fact, that idea of mimicking how you function as a teacher in real time, whether it's online or whether it's physically in the classroom, the ability to model that behavior through digital medium is really, really important for us as teachers and also as students, of course. Yeah, I think the thing is we... Uh, the less speaking time the teacher has, the better for the students. And we should start putting them into groups to practice as much as possible. So I'm quickly going to show this here. Here we've got the options here, invite, managing, share screen. And I'm going to create breakout rooms here. So you can click on breakout rooms and you can assign rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can assign the students automatically or manually. One of the tips I want to give you is make one more room that you need just in case you want to move students around so you don't have to go back and restart again. So I'm going to create three rooms. And I actually, I made it automatic. Uh, wait, I'm going to do it again. Sorry, I'm going to create rooms. Uh, and I'm going to open or rooms. So once you click open, all the students are going to be sent to certain places. He's been invited, Ben's been invited to go to breakout room two. And once he's inside, you can see he's inside. It shows my screen again so I can control this. You'll see all the students go inside their respective rooms. And as the teacher, you can actually join the rooms to quickly chat with them. So, um, for example, you gave the students, uh, you told them, you started your class, told the students, okay, kids, I want you to talk about three things about yourself. Go into your group. You can give them a list of questions or project to do. And then you can actually join each room to see what they're up to. See, I'm joining the room here. Hi, Ben. 
Hello. Okay, I'm going to try and share some some my screen with you just to give you some ideas. Can you tell me if you can see this so you get share computer sound uh, screen sharing for video clip? Okay, so can you see the screen while I'm busy? Oh yes, I can. It is coming up. Okay, so I want you to talk about these three things um, with your partner, and then I'm going to try and then also move away from here. Then I'm just trying to learn how to do this. So, but I think to stop share, I can pause share, but we'll talk about that later. But I'm mm -hmm. going to stop share so I can move to another classroom. I don't think I can do it otherwise. Okay. okay, so you can share with the students and then here at breakout rooms, I'm watching them talking with their partner. And then I can say, okay, guys, I'll see you later. I'm going to join another group now. Continue your conversation. So the students, whatever they're busy doing, they're doing that. I'm in the second room, room now. There's nobody here. And if I've given the students enough time, I can go in. I can send them a message. So I can say, uh, okay, everyone, finish up. Okay, everyone, uh, finish up. So they finish up. All the students um, can get that. And then eventually I can say, close rooms. When I say close rooms... They've got 60 seconds to finish up their conversation before they are returned to the main one. So I can leave this one too. I'm going back to the main session. This is the main session into full screen. And then after 60 se seconds, the students will automatically come back like Ben is doing now, or you can do it otherwise. Okay, Ben, uh, final words, breakout rooms. How will you use it in your classroom? Uh, breakout rooms, absolutely. Any teacher using Zoom should be using breakout rooms. Absolutely no questions asked. Uh, how would I use them? So many different, really the, <laughs> your imagination is the thing that limits you in how you use them, uh, to be quite honest. Exactly. I'm what would I use specifically? Um, small group conversations, absolutely. Uh, um, pair group, if I want to uh, have them uh, with something perhaps from the textbook. Um, but also, if I was giving the students, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes, because I'm focusing on problem-based learning, I might want to give them 10 or 15 minutes to just wrestle with some issues that might be springing out of the textbook. So there's so many possibilities. Imagination is the limit in terms of how we can use exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. I think uh, the more teachers are going to use this, the more we realize what we are capable of. You know, And uh, I would suggest uh, telling the students to always have a notepad or a book with them so that they can make notes while they're in their meetings. Because once you're done with the, the breakout room, they can give you feedback and you can ask them what did they talk about. Listen, uh, we're going to make a lot more videos. I want to make more videos specifically for activities. Thank you so much for helping and uh, we'll see you in other videos. All right, no problem. We'll be ready for you. Okay, everyone, there we go. Those are the ideas for how to use breakout rooms, the basics. I hope you use it in your online teaching. It's a fantastic resource. Everyone, if you want to see more videos on this, uh, click the link um, up there and uh, I'll share more ideas that we can use. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.